to the captain, Derek Jeter, playing his final game at Yankee Stadium last night. And what a way to go out. Dramatic hit, bottom of the ninth to win it. ABC's Ron Claiborne was there. He's now here to tell us all about it. Good morning, Ron. Hey, good morning to you, Robin. It really was amazing. I've been to hundreds of games, baseball, football, basketball. But for human drama, I've never seen anything like what happened last night in the Bronx, just days from the end of his long and great career. Derek Jeter getting it done one more time. Where fantasy becomes reality. It was like a page from a Hollywood script, only this was real life. And that brings up Jeter. Bottom of the ninth, tied score, Derek Jeter at bat for the last time at Yankee Stadium. It was one for the ages. Richardson is safe. Derek Jeter ends his final game with a walk-off single. One of the most memorable and emotional moments in sports history, a dazzling home field finale to a dazzling 20-year career. And what was going through your mind as he stepped into that batter's box one last time? Uh, don't cry. Uh, to be honest with you, I, I, I don't know how I played this game. I was all messed up. Everybody's chanting, thank you, Derek, and thinking to myself, for what? You know, I'm just trying to do my job, so thank you guys. Jeter's energy, his final push for his team and his fans, obvious from his first at bat Thursday night. Smacking a double off the left field wall, just inches from a home run. It goes. That one is drilled deep to left field. Going back to Elsa. Still back, still back. It's off the wall. After that, play after play until those ninth inning heroics. His family cheering him on, along with a legion of fans watching him from the stands and beyond. If I'm going to be honest with you, I, these, these last few weeks have gotten tougher and tougher. I try not to think about it, but it was very, very difficult, but uh, it's all worthwhile. Now 40 and a shadow of the player he once was, Jeter is calling it quits. I've lived a dream. I mean, this is, you know, since I was four or five years old, and, and uh, you know, part of that dream is over now. But even in his twilight, he could still conjure the old magic like he did oh so gloriously last night. And when uh, Derek Jeter knocked in that run, Yankee Stadium, it just erupted. People were jumping up and down, <laughs> slapping five, kissing, hugging, crying even. It was really an amazing moment. But that's not the end yet for Derek Jeter. The Yankees play three more games on the road at Fenway Park in Boston. He says he'll play in at least one, maybe two of those games. It's going to wow. be hard to match what yeah, happened last night. It. That was you think incredible. About that, his whole Since entire was... life, and every kid goes up whenever they're playing in yeah. the sandlot saying, okay, it's bottom of the ninth. What do mm -hmm. I do now? Yeah. Perfect. And he yeah. does it in 20 years later. And wasn't your, your hubby Andrew was there at the game? Andrew was there, and he was texting me the whole night. <laughs> this is unbelievable. <laughs> he was like a kid in a candy store. That's he so had great. the best night ever. It was awesome. Couldn't happen to a nicer guy. You're right about that, it Lara. Was fantastic. Uh, glad Not that because I'm a Yankee fan, but also it's <laughs> dramatic. Glad that you were there.